Hello everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we are back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about Thor Love and Thunder and assess its box office performance in its opening weekend within US and international cinemas. Now there might be spoilers within this video for the movie itself and also for other films and series within Marvel's Phase 4 so just beware when going into this overall review and you can also check out my own thoughts, non-spoiler and spoiler on the movie itself within the channel and I will leave some links within the description so that you can check out at a later date. Now going into this opening weekend the movie had a great performance grossing just over 143 million within US cinemas. Globally the film has now passed over 302 million internationally so overall that's a 19% improvement over for Ragnarok's take of 2017 at this same stage of release. So Marvel will be very pleased with the performance despite the very mixed of views. Many people like myself criticised the excessive humour and comedy which took away any real sense of threat or substance within the overall story. Now we all knew that they were doubled down on the comedic tone from Thor Ragnarok and financially that decision has been validated. Thor Ragnarok itself went on to gross over 857 million worldwide and Marvel will be very confident in a similar result this time for Love and Thunder. Now we must recognise that recent Marvel films haven't been released in certain territories such as China and Russia. Now I don't know whether Love and Thunder will get a release in China but at the same time Hollywood has recently shown that they don't need to rely as much within a Chinese box office to be successful. And when we look at it in terms of Marvel's perspective both Spider-Man No Way Home and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness were huge hits without China so that reason could bode very well for Thor Love and Thunder in the upcoming weeks. Now despite what we think about the movie itself or in terms of the direction that phase 4 is going in, you can't deny that commercially the MCU is still the number one franchise within Hollywood and it's very much getting back to where it was pre-pandemic where the majority of the films were making at the very least anything from between 800 million and 1 billion worldwide. And I think the success of this opening weekend proves again the popularity of Chris Hemsworth's 4 who was the first character within the MCU to get a fourth solo out in and I think his franchise has continually been successful with each entry at the box office. So if Thor Love and Thunder can maintain a good hold over the next upcoming weeks, it may motivate Marvel to go for a fifth instalment with the character. But if they do do this, I would definitely advise a change of tone and pace and direction because I don't think the wacky comedy will work for a third time in a row. In terms of early predictions about the overall take of Love and Thunder, I think it will probably end up around 750 to 800 million worldwide just falling short of the take of Thor Ragnarok but we'll see how it performs in the second and third weekend but so far it looks like another big hit for Marvel and I'm sure this run will continue with Black Panther Wakanda Forever when that movie releases in November this year as well. So there's my quick thoughts and feelings on the opening box office of Thor Love and Thunder let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think this is a signature hit for the MCU? very much showing signs that they are back to where they were pre-pandemic do you think it's a somewhat disappointing take are you comparing it to other numbers such as the openings for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man No Way Home or do you believe that method isn't invalid and we should look at Thor Love and Thunder on its own merits and if we're going to make any comparisons it should be with the previous sequels themselves and not any other MC outings. What do you think will be a good number in terms of what Love of Thunder can end up with to deem it a success or a failure? And do you believe we should get a fifth instalment or do you think that Full Love and Thunder took it too far for the character and the franchise to redeem itself in a far more serious and grandiose direction, which is what I believe it should go for? And do you feel that the fourth instalment should be the last within the Force franchise? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more quality content in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay at safe distances and I will see you very very soon.